It was so freaking hot earlier today. I was in shorts and a t-shirt for the first time in I don't know how long. Now I'm cold again. It's actually really cold. But that's what happens when you're in the desert. Do you know how long it's been since I have seen full bright sunshine? Or how long it's been since I could wear shorts and a tank top? I can't remember. But this feels so nice. Let me put you on to something. This, this is a rechargeable hand warmer. It's by Zippo, you know, the people who make the lighters. My hands get so cold so quick. So I drove a many, many miles. And now, I'm not east anymore. There's a feeling I get when I look to the west. And my spirit is crying for leaving. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just didn't like it over there. And I told you. I said, I'm over this. Or if I didn't say it out loud, that's what I was meaning to say my whole last video. And I knew that coming west was the only remedy for what I was feeling. And I was right. It feels so good to be back in the back in the western United States. So much open space. Oh my gosh, it feels like my soul is soaring. Today, driving out here, I was the only one on the road for most of the day. There's nothing like that. Nothing like having lonely highways all to yourself. I would love to lie and say, it's cold so I don't feel like cooking. That's not necessarily a lie. It's true, it is cold and I don't feel like cooking. But it's not that I don't feel like cooking because it's cold. I just don't feel like cooking. Sorry, I would love to give you a little Mateo, you know, cooking a freaking five course meal in a van. But I can't do that. We're going to be having Cuban rice bowl. Gluten-free vegetarian. Sounds good to me. One and a quarter cups. How the f how am I supposed to know how much that is? I think I have a measuring tape actually. Rompe la rompe. Oh, I'm not trying to crack my door right now. Boom. One and a quarter liters of milliliter. What's that? This is supposedly one cup. Here's a fourth. This is such a tiny little amount. Probably should open the door after I did all this because it's just cold for no reason now. dark in here sorry I'm cold okay this is actually not bad for backpacking food it's not bad it's just rice and beans how can you mess that up the great thing about living in a van is my sleep schedule gets really good because
Something is literally stuck in my mouth. I'm so sorry. I felt like there was something stuck in my mouth. It feels like there still is something, but I just vigorously flossed my teeth. Okay, before I freak myself out more, I'm just going to go to sleep. Okay, good night. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. I can't even turn the lights off. It's not my night. <sighs> Good morning. Just get back under the covers. In an unexpected turn of events, it is cold and rainy. What the heck? It's not what I drove over here for. I was in a tank top and shorts yesterday. Um, I didn't sleep well. Last night I went to bed stressed because I felt something stuck in my gums. And I actually can still feel it, but anyway, that just set the tone for the rest of the night for me. I had stress dreams. I was dreaming that my all my tires blew out. It was really windy. And I think like debris or something was banging against my van, so I just did not sleep well. I checked the weather before I came here, and it was supposed to be 60s. Today it's not going to get above 40. Also, I was excited for sunshine. Like yesterday and there is zero right now but hey you know what we're gonna make the best of it by staying in bed just kidding It's usually a lot smoother, but the camera's in the way. <laughs> I feel much better now that I have washed my face, brushed my teeth. It looks like it's gonna storm today. It's not just cold. It looks like these look like storm clouds. So I have two options. I can either, well, my first option is always to stop complaining. But number two is I can either drive to sunshine. It's raining, yep, it's raining. And my second number two would be to just ride out the storm here, which I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that one because I'm already here. It's really pretty. No one else is gonna be here. Maybe breakfast first. and you shall receive it's turned out to be a beautiful day in west texas despite the wind oh my gosh i don't know if you can hear it but it is crazy anyway there's so much sunshine and it's a beautiful day so i have decided to book a guided tour for some companionship and for exercise purposes and happiness and fulfillment purposes but also because i haven't talked to anyone in a lot of days i'm full of brisket and i'm ready to take on the world
I was trying to find a picnic area that seemed really pretty on Google to stay at tonight, um, but I ended up on some lonely road instead. But I must say, this might be even better. There's literally no one else here, and it's so pretty, so why not? Just kidding, I'm not staying here. I don't want to trespass, and I don't want the cops knocking on my van ever again. We will find the picnic area. Hi. Um, I never made it to the picnic area. And that is because earlier that day, I got a notification on my phone that said something along the lines of an air tag is tracking your location or something like that. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. And I was like, what the heck? I don't have an air tag. Apple, like, this is not mine. Apple accidentally sent me somebody else's notification. And I just went on about my day and, you know, did whatever. And then later that day, I posted on Instagram a screenshot of it with the same thing that I was thinking, which was, I don't own an air tag, lol. And then that was it. I was just like, this is like kind of a funny thing that I got this message. When I got back on Instagram an hour later and checked my messages, I had at minimum 100 messages telling me you need to search yourself and your car immediately. Someone put an air tag on you. Someone is tracking you. Someone is stalking you. You need to go to the police. I was like, what the f- I've never heard of this before. I can be a bit of a boomer when it comes to technology because usually I'm by myself in the wilderness. Like, I, I don't even really know what an air tag is. So, obviously, I was freaked out. I did search myself and my car. I didn't see anything. People were still like, you might not find it. So I was like, how, what am I supposed to, like, if I can't find it, how do I know I ha it's on me? Anyway, coming from the east to the west, I had planned to stop at my parents' house anyway in Texas to pick up a package to do a giveaway for you guys. Spoiler alert. So since I was going to go to my parents' house anyway, and I was already in Texas, I was like, well, I guess this is a good time to just go back now. Because obviously, if someone is tracking me, I don't want to stay at a secluded picnic area alone in the middle of the desert in West Texas. So instead of resting and chilling that night, I drove all the way home. I have searched myself in my car multiple times now. I don't think that it it's on me. It's been, I think, two days now, and I'm still alive and well. No one's come by my house, so I think for the most part, it's fine. Giveaway coming next week, so stay tuned. And yeah, I'll just be laying low for a little bit um chilling and then i will be heading west hopefully without an air tag on myself or my vehicle how do i turn this heat setting on oh my gosh i noticed while editing my videos that i smell a lot of things and i don't know what that's about i don't know why i sniff everything don't put a rag in my face. <laughs>